Hi, my name is Greg Napone. I'm the product manager for JOptimizer 2009. Just want to take a few minutes today to walk you through uh, the key features and benefits of JOptimizer. In general, Embarcadero JOptimizer is a Java profiling and tuning IDE that enables developers to quickly discover, diagnose, and optimize poor performing or low quality Java code. Some of you who might be Borland Optimize It users might recognize the user interface. Embarcadero acquired the Optimize It development team and licensed the Optimize It source code from Borland back with the CodeGear acquisition just last year. Embarcadero J Optimizer is the next generation Java optimization tool based on that original award winning Optimize It technology. Here's a long list of reasons why JOptimizer might prove valuable for you in your environment. Uh, the top five features we're going to talk about today are memory and CPU profiler, the thread debugger, request analyzer, code coverage, and audits and metrics. We're also going to refer to things like the JOptimizer agent, the, the concept of snapshots, progress tracker, and touchpoint integration plugin. As with all of our products, we have a broad support for both commercial and open source application servers. So what's new in JOptimizer might be of importance to you? Well, the concept of snapshots. So whether it's memory or CPU profiling you're generating uh, data from, uh, you can gather and automatically store that up in a snapshot file uh, so you can actually analyze it later on. The progress tracker, which is fully integrated in the JOptimizer IDE, allows you to analyze and compare snapshots from profiler, code coverage, and request analyzer, and also generate reports that can be exported to PDF or HTML format. The JOptimizer agent actually allows you to install the agent on a remote system running an application or application server, and the results from that profiling uh, are actually represented and displayed in the JOptimizer ID on your local desktop. So let's talk about the five major features, starting with Memory Profiler. Memory Profiler allows you to find memory leaks, inefficient temporary storage issues, CPU bottlenecks, and unit, unit test performance regressions. So test and improve the performance of things like Java applications, applets, servlets, Java beans, EJBs, and JSPs. The CPU Profiler allows you to test and display the results for each thread or thread group for either pure CPU use or for elapsed time. The Thread Debugger allows for the real-time display of progress of all threads running within the Java Virtual Machine, allowing you to identify thread contentions, thread starvation, excessive locking, and deadlocking issues. The nice thing about this feature is it allows you to predict the potential deadlock conditions in the code. Request Analyzer allows for the precise drill down information about performance bottlenecks in the Java EE applications. EE components such as JDBC, RMI, JSP, JNDI, EJBs, JMS, and Web Service Protocol containers. Here's a little bit of a closer look at Request Analyzer, including the ability to drill down to source, visualize and quickly find out the cross-protocol data, and also drill down a hotspot and entry point details. Code coverage shows exact lines of source code that are being executed in real time. So you can see how frequently each class, method, and line of code is executed. And this allows you to easily spot and remove dead code from applications, uh, improving overall product quality, application quality, etc. Code audits and metrics actually allow you to identify code quality issues and dependency issues. This allows you to do things like automate your code reviews, find and fix problems earlier in the development life cycle. The audits themselves perform static analysis of source code, identifying coding problems like potential raise conditions, unchecked exceptions, and more. This chart in general uh, shows code metrics results to easily identify potential issues. The visualization is a nice touch. And here is our long list of supported servers and platforms. 
Just want to spend a couple minutes with you talking to you about uh, what is included in J-Optimizer, what might be new for anybody who actually used to use the Borland Optimizer technology. Um, we're hoping you go check it out. Uh, for those people out there who are using Borland Optimizer, we know you're looking for a home now, and hopefully you will find one with J-Optimizer. We're we'll looking forward to talking to you. Thanks very much. Again, this is Greg Napone, and hopefully you'll contact us and we can talk some more about J-Optimizer. Take care.